Royale High finally updated. Royaloween 2023 is here and Wickery Cliffs is back. Let's see the update together. Before we start, let's see who won the 500 Robux in my previous video. Congrats to the winner! Let's start the video now. Firstly, the update log. It says, Happy Royaloween. Wickery Cliffs and Blackwood Manor return, Royaloween in the castle, new candy items, and much more. Ooh, sounds interesting, let's read the full log. October 16th, 2023. Royaloween is here, sorry for the delay, I got super duper sick, so we will be extending this event until November 15th. But without further ado, let's celebrate. Wickery Cliffs and Blackwood Manor is back, woo. The castle has been transformed into a dark castle. Keep your eyes out for special candy bowls around campus. New Royaloween dorm furniture, including a Royaloween candy bowl to give candy out to trick-or-treaters. New furniture, earnable with candy currency. Pumpkin jack-o'-lantern with 16 toggles, with various shapes and carvings. Spooky tombstone grave, shake for a surprise. Includes a brand new feature to be able to write custom text on furniture items. Changing Seasons Tree, a recolorable tree that comes with seven toggles, including different leaf shapes, trunk shapes, and with or without a pot. Darkest Dreams Vampire Coffin Bed or Closet or Locker. Comes with 22 toggles, most notable the ability to sleep in the coffin or prop it upright with shelves and hanger rods to use as a locker or a closet. Fuzzy Monster Candy Bag 2023, an exclusive candy bag that will only be for sale during 2023. Both an accessory and dorm furniture, and comes with amazing toggles, including turning into a fuzzy candy monster. Too Cool for Skull Shoulder Bag, a fashionable sew skull bag. Goth Lolita Purse is now placeable in your dorm. New Sparkly Star Level Reward, Furniture Resizer. You can now customize the size of any piece of furniture. Requires level 475. You can now write on sticky notes and poster paper in your dorm. This new feature includes being able to choose unique font and text color, and of course your text saves. Upon entering main campus, those who purchased all the GOT items will receive a badge and an exclusive items. If you purchased all items multiple times, you will receive multiple of the exclusive item. 7 New Hairstyles Those who have the sticker pass have been given 100 more of sticker pack furniture items for funsies. The Gives is in main campus so you have to visit there to get your 100 sticker packs. New Locker Doors, Halloween Teen Series. These include an all-new feature, a candy bank, a real candy currency dispenser that overtime collects candy while you are playing Royale High. Get a candy reward when you stop at your locker between classes. Two new sticker pack by IX Chaco, Tricks and Treats. Magical Witch Hat now has four colors, has four toggles, including versions with no veil and the way that Poppy wears it. Two new quests for trick or treating with the candy bowls. New loading indicators when teleporting between realms, including a faster load time. Load time cut down estimated between 2 and 5 seconds. Quest fix, you should no longer get the same quest twice in a row. Quick study sesh, time reduced from 2 minutes to 1 minute to complete the quest. Treasure chest opening animation reduced. Rainy day classroom will now no longer force on your music. Halo stats tracker. From this Halo and on, there will be a plus one tick added in your one Halo stats in your diary every time you win a Halo, even from winning duplicates. It used to not work with duplicates since we were counting how many Halo badges you had in order to get this stats number. And since you could only even win a badge once, we wouldn't know how many times you won a certain Halo. And finally, new Halo fountain stories, new hair colors, new makeups, new fabrics and new clothing by a lot of talented players. Let's see the update together now. Starting with the main campus. Okay, whoa. The castle is so pretty. It looks spooky and magical. Just look at that guys. So the guards are now neon haha. And let's take a look at the fountain. Wow. Okay, so we can actually hold the bats, take a look. So adorable, ah. 
Bye bye little bat. Wait, is there anything new on Fountain Lady? Oh there is. She has a face now and she's wearing a cute devil headband. While we're here, I might as well wish on the fountain haha. -ha. Will I get the new halo? Hopefully. Nope, okay that's fine, cries. We should go inside the castle now. The leaderboard. And one of the candy bowls. You can take it and it will give you some candies. And you can come back in an hour to more candies. If you want to know the other locations of the candy bowls, you can watch my previous video. I showed all of the candy bowls location in that video, so consider checking that out. Alright, before we go into the front office, let's check the entrance to the dormitory and locker courtyard first. Ooh, pumpkins! The decorations are so pretty, I love this version of the castle. Let's see the front office now. We're here, it's not as spooky as the castle, but the decorations are pretty cute. It says Happy Royaloween up here haha. Poppy's new fit is adorable. Let's talk to her. New text box and dialogue. Scare y'all later. later. How cute hee hee. There's a candy bowl here too. Let's take some candies. I really like the decorations. Just look at those floating candles haha. Anyways, let's take a look at the locker courtyard too. The map isn't decorated with Halloween decorations like the other maps. But the classroom is, so let's go inside. Here we are, it's so cute right? Oh, and there's a candy bowl here too. I think that's all of the maps that were redecorated. Let's take a look at the new furnitures now. Hey Royals, an advertisement might play in the next few seconds. So if you would like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you. Okay, so don't mind my unfinished dorm. I haven't got the time to finish it yet. I'm just gonna stand here. So, I believe we have six new furnitures? Oh wow, there's a category for the evening fall items. Firstly, we got the candy bowl. The price is 800 candies. Next, the changing season tree. It's sold for 2000 candies. Next up, the Too Cool for Skull Shoulder Bag. The price is 2,500 candies. Next, the Fuzzy Monster Candy Bag 2023. It's 10,000 candies, whoa. Next is the Darkest Dreams Vampire Coffin, and it's 20,000 candies. It's quite expensive. And lastly is the Spooky Tombstone Grave. It's for 1,750 candies. Well it's gonna take a while to farm for all of those. You need around 37,050 candies, wish me luck guys. Okay, next the shop. This is the new shop interface. So cute. Let's see the candy shop. There are only two new items. The fuzzy monster candy bag. And the skull bag. Let's try them on. There are lots of toggles. Okay, so the first toggle is just a regular bag. Second toggle has smaller straps. Third toggle is a smaller bag. And fourth toggle has smaller straps. Fifth toggle is the original size bag but it's in front. Sixth toggle just has smaller straps. Seventh toggle is a smaller version of the bag. And eighth toggle has smaller straps. 
Ninth toggle, whoa it's on your head. Tenth toggle the transparent part is removed. Eleventh toggle removes the candies inside the bag. Twelfth toggle gets rid of the transparent part again. Thirteenth toggle covers your face. Fourteenth toggle covers the upper part of your body. Fifteenth toggle covers even more. Sixteenth toggle, um I don't really know what changed. But seventeenth toggle will remove the pink part. Phew, that was a lot. Now let's try on the skull bag. Oh it doesn't have any toggles. But it's pretty cute. Now for the locker door decors. There are four new decors. They all have the same designs but different colors. Purple, orange, red, and green. Apparently these can give you candies? I don't have it yet, but once I bought it, I'll equip it to see if it's true. And I believe that's everything. I don't see any new sets here. So let's check out the new hairs. There are 7 new hairstyles, and I'm actually wearing one of them. Let me change my animation real quick. The first one is Envy Punk Pigtails. This is how it looks like. The next one is Very Envy Punk Pigtails. This is the longer version of the first one. Next, Charlie's Layered Mullet. Oh this one is actually super cute. I think it's one of my favorites. Next is the Half Up Spiked Pigtails. This one is also pretty cute. Next, Sabrina. This one is one of my favorites. And next, Stubby Punk Pigtails. This one is adorable, definitely one of my favorites too. And lastly, the Devil Horn Buns. I love the horns hee hee. And that's it. Now, let's take a look at the new Halo. It's called the Dark Fairy Halo, Evening Fall 2023. It's honestly super pretty, and I really hope I can win it from the Fountain Awe. Also, I will be posting a guide to win the Halo, so stay tuned. Here's a toggle of the Halo. It's stunning. Oh, we can't forget the new sticker packs. First one is the Trix pack. It's so cute. We have a candle, the two ghosts from Wickery Cliffs, a black cat, and more. My favorite is the black cat sticker. And next is the treats pack. There are a bunch of candies here. Gummy bears, lollipops, candy corns, and more. Adorable. My favorite is this pink one. Alrighty, it's finally time to visit Wickery Cliffs. Let's go. We're here. Ah, I missed Wickery Cliffs. I always love Royaloween updates. Here we have the apple bobbing stand. Trick or treating houses. Oh, let me show you the maze. Here it is. I'm planning on making a maze guide, chest guide, and candy farming routine video so stay tuned. Also, if you go all the way to the end of this path, you will see a mansion. It's the Blackwood Manor. Let's go inside and I'll show you what you can do there. And here we are. You can ghost hunt here. Let's grab a gun, a headlamp, and night vision goggles. You can just go inside and shoot the ghosts. After that you can capture them and get candies. Oh no he went through the wall. 
Oh well. I think that's all for today Royals. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the update. Happy Royaloween!